Okay, left-hand limits and right-handed limits, or sometimes we refer to these as one-sided limits. So one-sided limits are going to be denoted by a superscript of either a negative, meaning we're approaching this x value from the left-hand side, or a positive superscript, which would be a right-handed limit, meaning we're approaching this x value from the right-hand side. So let's jump right into a graph and see what these look like. First of all, let's look at over here on the right hand side, the limit as x approaches 2 from the left hand side of our function f of x, which is illustrated in blue on the left hand side. So we care about an x value of 2 that we're approaching with that superscript of a negative, that means values approaching from the left hand side. So I'm kind of looking at how we approach the graph here, just coming at 2 from the left hand side, and which y value we're getting close to. So as we get closer and closer to 2 as an x value, we're going to get closer and closer to negative 1 as a y value. Next, let's look at the one-sided limit, the right-handed limit, as we approach 2 from the right-hand side. So we're tracing in, getting close to 2 from the right-hand side on our graph. It looks to me like we're getting close to a y value of negative 1 there as well. All right, so next question, the limit as x approaches 2 without a directionality indicated. So for this to work, the left-hand limit approaching from the left side and the right-handed limit approaching from the right-hand side have to meet up. So as we've already illustrated, they both come to negative 1. Therefore, this limit without directionality is also going to be the same at negative 1. Now this is technically a little bit different question than f of 2. For f of 2, we're still looking at an x value of 2 right here, but we care about where is the point actually on the graph, or do we have a point on the graph at an x value of 2. So in this case we do have the filled in circle here, it too is going to be at negative 1. Alright, so our graph would be continuous at an x value of 2 because this limit both exists without directionality and it's the exact same as uh, f of 2. Moving on to f uh, as an x value of 0, what we're going to look at here is first of all the left-handed limit as x approaches 0. So as you can see, we're going to focus on 0 for our x value. Approaching from the left side, we're going to get close to a y value of 1. Approaching from the right side, getting close to an x value of 2, tracing the graph in here, it looks like we get to a y value of 2. Um, but because those don't meet up, our limit as x approaches 0 does not exist. All right, those have to be equal from the left and the right hand side for us to have a limit as x approaches 0. One last question with this, f of 0. Now f of 0, remember, is the point that's actually on the graph. So you can see we have a filled in circle here. So that's a y value of 1, so we can say f of 0 actually equals 1. Up there at 0, 2 is an open circle, meaning that point's not on the graph. Next up, limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side. So approaching 1 from the left-hand side, we're going to focus on an x value of 1. Coming from the left-hand side, looks like we get close to a y value of 1. Coming from the right-hand side, for the next limit, uh, looks like another y value of 1. Because those are equal, because we come together there, the limit without directionality is also going to be the same, which is going to be 1. Now, the final question here, f of 1, is a little bit different. Remember, that's not getting close to an x value of 1 and tracing the graph in. It's looking for where is this point on the graph. All right, so the filled in circle is what we're looking for. That has a y value of negative 1. All right, this graph is not continuous add an x value of 1 because we have this hole in the graph here. Um, it was not continuous at 0 either because we had a jump discontinuity in between these because the left hand side and the right hand side didn't come together and meet up and correspond with a point on the graph. Alright, one more of these. Let's take a look at as we get close to uh, 3 from the left hand side. Looks like we're getting close to negative 1. From the right hand side looks like we get close to positive 1 because those aren't the same we say the limit without directionality does not exist and then finally f of 3 is the point on the graph 
that's going to be this point up here that was filled in, which is going to be at 2. Again, this, was, this graph is discontinuous at an x value of 3. All right, hope this helps out as we start understanding one-sided limits, limits without directionality, and evaluating a function at a given x value.